Hey, it's Bill, and I'm on the water. You got my favorite friend Bear here. We're ready to go for a walk. And then this is granddaughter number two. This is Anna. Say hi, Anna. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're ready to get the day started. I'm going to head over to the Narrows today. We're going to go for a boat ride on one of the boats at the expo. We're going to check it out, and we'll give it all the details right back to you. So, I'm Bill, and I'm on the water. <laughs> hey everybody, uh, it's Bill. We're over here with Brad Heil at the Boat Expo today, and uh, I've known Brad maybe 10, 12 years, something Bad, like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. used to teach together at Kent Island High School. But uh, Captain Brad here, uh, he's got a nice prestige to show us today, and uh, what do we got here today, Brad? We have a 500S prestige. It's the S version. It's a coupe without a fly bridge, but it does have the retractable hardtop. So we're going to take it out. It's a little windy, so I understand we're not doing the drone, but we're going to take it out and go for a ride. That sounds good. Yeah, let's do that. So All of our boats come with the rear docking station back here. Rear docking station and a joystick. So you have a bow thruster up front, you have the docking station to do it, and you can I can single hand the boat by myself. Okay, so from the very beginning as a captain, besides having steering wheel controls and stick controls, we also have our joystick up here as well, so I can sit and dock the boat from up here, along with our bow thruster, and we have our trim tabs. Um, the, the If you don't know about trim tabs, what they do is when you get the boat up on top of the water, they kind of make it go from left to right a little bit to keep the boat balanced, and you can also get the boat flattened out to, while you're up on plane, um, just for a better ride. In rough weather, you want the boat all the way down, that way the water comes through and it's hitting very up front. It comes back and you just have a smoother ride. Um, as you get calmer water, you just kind of slack off in the trim tabs a little bit and you get what's called the proper planing angle. But we have two Ray Marine units, an E-127 and an E-125. They're redundant. Um, we have our smart craft, which is the uh, Volvo Penna um, engine controls. Everything's in here that I need. I can, you know, from fuel consumption, oil pressures, temperatures, turbo boosts, Everything I need to know about this boat is right here in that control. I also have my autopilot up here, uh, and sometimes when I'm running these boats, delivering them back and forth in Florida, I kind of get tired of driving. So I turn the autopilot on, and I can actually steer with this little knob right here when I do that. Um, so the uh, Prestige 500 has the Volvo IPS 600s in them. Uh, they're 435 horsepower each. And I can cruise this boat around 23 knots, and at 23 knots, you know, I'm burning about 44 gallons an hour, 46 gallons an hour, somewhere in that neighborhood. But they're pretty efficient, very efficient, actually. And the one thing about Prestige as a captain, from a captain standpoint, it's the quietest boat I've ever driven in my life. These things, we can have this conversation at full speed with the generator running, the doors open, the windows open. It's just the quietest boat I've ever ridden in my life. So with that, we'll put a little bit of juice to it and get her going. And right now we have the back doors open. We have the sunroof open as well. And I haven't raised my voice to talk to you. We're cruising along right now. I uh, just bumped it up to 23 knots. And it's a, it's a nice quiet ride. The Prestige has a 17 and a half degree dead rise on the bow. You know, so when these things cut through the water, they really push the water away, and it's a smooth ride. You know, it's a windy day out here, and Eastern Bay is pretty bumpy, and it's pretty smooth right now. So yeah, now that we have the top closed, we have the rear doors closed, we're cruising at 24 knots with the engines and the generator running, and I can have this conversation with you without raising my voice. And you know, it's it's interesting again because. As you run, deliver these boats up and down the coast, you get on some of these some boats, and the noise levels are so loud. By the time you get in after eight hours, your ears just ring, and it hurts. Um, and now, you know, I mean, with this type of boat, I can run this boat for 12, 14 hours a day, and it come in, and it's like, okay, give me a beer. <laughs> it's it's not bad at all. We can. It just it has a homey feel to it. I mean, it's just a, a nice boat with a, a lot of windage. A lot window itch, uh, and I feel like you know I don't feel like I'm in a boat. I just feel like I'm running around in a house on the water. So they're they're just very well built boats, very well laid out boats. You know you almost have a 360 degree view with these windows. The only thing that blocks it is your galley a little bit, um, 
and but you have a living area here, and I I just love these boats. They're they're very well built. I like the sliding glass doors. You you come in through those, and they open multiple ways. You can slide them together. You can slide them all the way to the uh, port si starboard side. You know, you can open them up however you need to go. And then when you walk in, the immediate thing you get into is your galley. So whoever's in the galley, and that's the cool part about this, whoever's in the galley can either speak with the people in the salon here or they can speak with the people out in the cockpit. You know, you're never, you know, out of the conversation just because you're in the galley doing whatever you have to do. Um, and it's convenient. I mean, you know, your drinks are right there, your stove's right there, your ice maker's right there. Everything is right there as soon as you walk in the door. If you're sitting out in the cockpit, you don't need to go far. But the cool feature about the Prestige is when you walk in to your starboard side, you know, you have an, a separate entrance to your owner's stateroom. So you walk down into the owner's stateroom with your own private head, you know, your own, you know, little area down there with a little breakfast nook, and you're separated from your guests. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to deal with them if you're out for an entire weekend. They have their section up here, and you have your section. So, you know, in the mornings, you know, a lot of customers, they'll come up, make their cup of coffee, go back down in the salon, and there, as I said, there's a little settee down there, and you can have your coffee, you know, you and your spouse in the mornings just get away from people. So, in the galley, you have, a, it's not a full-size fridge and freezer, but it's a very good-size fridge and freezer for this size boat. Um, you also have your ice maker. You have an induction cookware top with three burners on it so you know if you, you can be cooking on on three burners if you take something off and the boat's rocking you lay your hand on there sorry about that <laughs> you lay your hand on there and it doesn't uh, burn your hand then you have a convection microwave so you know you have your you can do use your microwave or you can use the convection oven a lot of our customers are you know they'll make cookies on the boat and have cookies in the morning or something like that um, you also have two sinks back there. Uh, the main sink for washing dishes or whatever you, you know you can use. They also have a secondary sink. In France they use it to wash their vegetables. In the United States it's the best beer cooler you ever had in your life because you fill it with ice and beer. <laughs> it's right there. Um, but you can also get a, a dishwasher in there. You know it, it's an option to get a dishwasher. But you have an island for a pantry that's got tons of storage in it. You have your waste can back there. You know, cabinets overhead, there's just tons of storage in the, the galley of this boat. So, you know, after you leave the galley, you come forward and we're in the salon. And that's where we're sitting right now. You know, you have this U-shaped couch right here. You have the other um, couch sitting across from me. And you can sit here and have a conversation with people. You know, when I deliver these things up and down the coast, I stop in Coin Jock and meet my family. I have six or four sisters and one brother, and you know we sit in here comfortably and just chat. Um, but with these huge windows all the way around, I don't feel like I'm in a boat. You know, I feel like I'm sitting in the living room of a house. Uh, and you know, again, with you have huge windows, I can see everything that's going on around me. Um, if I take real quick and pop it up while we're sitting here talking, you know, I pop the TV up over here, and. You know, right there's your TV for in the salon. The other cool thing about this is you have this lower helm. And, you know, a lot of people think a lower helm deters. But this lower helm doesn't. This lower helm is part of the living area. You know, if you're not driving, you can sit in that thing comfortably and just kind of sit crooked and have a conversation with everybody that's on the boat. You also have two windows that go up and down in here. You know, so you have sliding windows, they're electric, they open up, the back doors open up, the sunroof opens up, you bring the outside right in, you know, you don't have to have the AC and the heat on. We're sitting here right now in shorts and a t-shirt with nothing on, we don't have anything on right now. We get down the stairway and to your port side you have a twin stateroom that's got a filler cushion to where if you want to make it a queen bed you can, otherwise you have two side by side beds in there. And you go forward and you have your VIP stateroom. And the VIP is a queen size bed, but it also separates and opens up to a V-berth. So if you have a husband and wife don't like one another, you can separate them out and put a piece of cardboard in there and they don't even have to look at each other that night. Or if you have a couple kids that don't like each other, you can do the same thing. Uh, but, you know, it, it does. It separates open, which is a unique feature because, you know, you, if you have four guys 
other than you and somebody else on the boat, everybody can have their own individual bed and not feel you know cramped or anything. Um, but there's plenty of storage up there. And then they have their own head and shower up there also. You know, you have a head and shower up there for the guest stateroom and the VIP. And then you open up the stairs to go down into those bedrooms and there's your washer and dryer. So you have a washer and dryer on the boat. It's got every creature comfort that your home has. And it's on the water. So in the cockpit, you have a table, a, a teak table out there. And you have seating around the table that can seat four. And the table is also at a height where you can put, you know, get two chairs and throw underneath of it. So you can sit seat six out in the cockpit. You walk up the sides of the boat, and on the bow of all of our boats, you have a sun pad area. Every one of them, besides having the sun pad, also has a little bimini top. So, you know, if you're up there and you're getting too much sun, but you don't really want to come back inside the boat, you can put that bimini top up and get out of the sun. It's just a nice area. Um, with this particular boat, it's an S model, so it's the coupe. But if you get the same boat in a flybridge version, then you have a set of stairs to go up to the fly bridge, and the seating up there is like enormous. You know, you have uh, an L-shaped seating in the on the back of the fly bridge with a teak table that you could probably sit, you know, seven or eight people around comfortably without getting a chair in. You have a huge sun pad up there that you could lay four or five people on, and then you get a helm seat that's got, you know, seating for two. And on the fly bridge, what you get as well is you get another galley up there. You have a grill up there. You have a sink up there. You have a refrigerator up there. You, you know, you have everything you need on the fly bridge. So you can just entertain from up there. The, the, you know, this boat, being the S version, has three entertaining areas. You have the cockpit. You have the salon here. And then you have the forward deck. The fly bridge version, you have the same thing. You just add another area for the fly bridge, which is humongous. Anyways, uh, we don't know what we're going to say, right? We don't know what we're going to say. We don't know what we're going to say. This and is Brad and Bill. This is Brad and <laughs> Bill. It's the Brad and Bill Show. Brad and Bill Show, coming to you from Kent Narrows. Kent Narrows on a 500S Prestige yacht. Oh, my God. What a smooth ride. This boat has a lot of beautiful details, Brad. This is pretty incredible. It awesome. is, isn't it? Yeah. I, I mean, I get impressed every time I'm on it. So, That's yes, awesome. it is. Yeah. I like the stern drive. That was pretty cool. It's got pod, pod drive. Pod, straight, pod, pod, pod drive. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. That's awesome, man. Yeah. But the whole thing is pretty neat. Just that rear drive. Docking station. Oh yeah. my god! And you even drove the boat and got drove to see the boat. Handle. Yeah. I didn't even crash it. Didn't crash it. No, <laughs> we didn't crash anything. We've got a little windy. Well, we almost crashed the drone. Yeah, yeah. almost crashed the drone. A little windy today. A little windy today. Well, listen. If you're interested in the boat, uh, I'll put the link below. I'll also, put Brad's email if you want to get a hold of him. So, you know, Brad Hile, Bill Hackett. Hey, Brad Hile, Bill Hackett. You can thank have you, a good one, Brad. Appreciate it, man. No, no worries. Thank you. All I right, appreciate cool. it. That was cool. <laughs> bear, bear. <laughs> Anyways, we had a good day today, didn't we, Bear? Have a good day? Yeah, we did. Uh, great road trip or boat trip out there with Brad. Uh, went out on the Prestige, a huge boat, runs uh, like a champ, absolutely amazing. Awesome time. Awesome time just catching up with Brad. It's been a little bit. Anyways, Anna's already down for the night. We're getting ready to go down for the night. So if you like what you see, please subscribe, like my channel. And I would appreciate it. Now it's time for a bear. You want to go for a walk? All right, let's go for a walk. All right, guys, see ya. What a great day. If uh, you like what you see, hey, subscribe and check out the links below for the boat. All right, guys. So this is Bill for On the Water.